What's up, everybody? Today, as I was scrolling the YouTube as one does, I happened upon Avogadro's new video. And before watching it, I was like, that is a mighty fine idea. So, I'm going to create a tier list of my own. Hopefully, he will not be mad at me for stealing his idea. So, first, we got here. Keep in mind, I want to preface this, that I have not watched any other tier lists, and I'm not on the Silly Door Redstone Discord server. So, hopefully this will be non-biased. Uh, I'm, of course, a little biased because I am a Door Redstoner, and I will not do logical things. And I'm a zero tick Redstoner, so as we get down to stuff like entities and mobs... You'll have to see, stick around, find out. So for the first thing we have dust. That's uh, S tier pretty much one of the most useful things. Like, like dust, you have as much dust in pretty much every single door. Like if I go over here, that's not even mine. If I go over here, like look how much dust there is. It's probably the most used component other than building blocks. The only bad part about dust really is the fact that it's locational but that's just a java redstone thing and as you get better at it you'll start to realize it and find ways to fix it moving on redstone torches they're moderately useful they're used a lot in pre 1.8 and pre 1.5 redstone and they're used often in observer lists for like burnouts like this there we have a fake redstone block so like i said i need to have a piston here but i still wanted that to power something over here also generally in this video i will be referring to ticks as game ticks because redstone ticks are cringe and why are there two different units to measure the same thing it's like americans and europeans with meters and feet and inches and centimeters and all that nonsense so game ticks game ticks got it moving on repeaters i think repeaters a tier delay pretty simple uh comparators a little less a tier you know they're cool but they don't have as many uses um i think they're used in logical redstone i'm not sure uh sticky piston automatic a tier then we got pistons here uh mid a tier they're used a lot for updating things say i wanted more block event delay you can see here, for instance, I use it a lot. Like right here, we have the piston updating. There we have the piston updating it. You know, a lot of stuff like that. They're also useful for, I guess, powering things. They're good for negating input bug, which is another topic for another video. I guess they're useful in sliders and updaters. Redstone blocks. Uh, I don't know. That's going to be A tier. I was going to say S, but then it's like, they're not as useful as those things right there. Okay. A tier observer automatic S tier. I mean, it's, it's not even a question. Look, I even have it in my hotbar right now. That's crazy. Useful for 0 0.45, 0 ticks. Um, they're the most useful component in doors in general. Then we have target blocks. I say this is kind of a tier they have one very specific very very useful use case and other than that they're you know kind of mid as the kids say um so yeah hoppers eh, c tier the number one thing that i use hoppers for i would say is a transparent immovable so for instance here let's say we have something like that it won't power this and they're pretty useful for chaining together observers and stuff like that and because note blocks they make noise which is annoying other use is kind of very very niche i would say um it's either storage tech yeah storage tech hoppers are good for some roms which is a read only memory they're useful for like i don't know if you had a cart on top of it that was a chest cart um it'll fill it up and then, you know, a dropper up and a dispenser back in. Stuff like that. That'll be like a loop. You can also do a jukebox loop like that. But those are for very specific ROM based, normally hipster doors or really slow small doors. The dropper, uh, C tier, not really used much. The only real use case is for like something like this, you know, when you're reading out of it. But 
you know, not really used that often. That's gonna get, you know, a C tier. Dispenser. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a use case for a dispenser. And I might just be, like, not remembering, but I don't think they have any use other than for powdered snow. And, you know, another thing for small doors in general. Just another way to power things. It's a, you know, a C tier. Useful, not that useful. Here we got all of our pressure plates. And automatically, these two are going in B tier right here. I use pressure plates when I'm making a small-ish door, even though I'm like definitely not the best at it. Uh, you, this is a, an example right here of a very small double piston extender. I f don't know who it was designed by first. I probably should look that up, but right here and it uses a plate right there and then if you power that you know you get your double piston extender right there um so i guess that there and then i don't i don't know they're all gonna be right there because they're they are quote very mid uh buttons buttons are kind of cringe they're gonna go d tier they're only really used for small doors when you need a double pulse lever lever right there automatic b tier on off most of the time when i want I need to place something on a block like this that is a redirector instead of using a lever because you know people just run around by your door and flick it you can use a trip wire hook which i know is very niche like if you're building a door why is there a trip wire hook in it but you know i can't flick that so lever b tier Oh, a tripwire hook, right? Just like this. I'm going to say that's another B tier, just for the fact that it can redirect. Daylight sensor, F tier, never used. Lectern, your lectern is a computational redstone thing. And it is also, I'm pretty sure it's an illegal input for doors because say, say I have this door right here. I could have a lectern here. Let me get a book and quill. And just have one and then two. Done. So here, if I go from page one to two, it sends out a signal, as you can see. Right? So that could be an input. And also they redirect redstone. And they are a transparent immovable. Oh, you have to shift but you can't place dust on top of them and they have some entity alignment properties i do believe oh so lectern that's you know d tier i don't really use it rod you know good redirector uh not really much else use it can be moved which is uncommon honey and slime here is where it gets very controversial there are doors that use slime and honey you have probably seen them, like big 8x8s, big 10x10s. In fact, if I go to the Synergy server and chance upon Avogadro's plot, you can see here his most prominently featured door is this 10x10. Oh, also the TPS. Oh my gosh. The TPS is so cringe. But that's because all these people, and they like to play survival. Uh, yeah. But see, this uses slime and honey. And this door is better than any door I will probably ever create. But also, people are like, ew, slime and honey. So that's why there are doors. Specifically, you know, bigger 7x7s, 8x8s, 9x9s. That don't use slime and honey. But then there are doors like this. His newest big crazy door. He would say his best door. I, I would uh, agree. I mean, all of his doors are good that also use it and it makes it very fast and very small. If I go back to my own plot, for instance, and I have this door right here, you can see that it is quite small, although very cringe and has an extra layer there. I know I built this like 30 years ago, but it's 0 0.3 close and 0 0.45 open because it uses this slime double piston extender which makes it a lot easier this is a seven by seven and it was going to be a cave door i haven't finished it because it's kind of hard but you can see how smooth well it's not smooth because 14 tps but 
smooth this triple piston extender at the bottom is. By the way, this door was built by these people right here. For me, they're gonna get solid B tier. Note blocks, instant updater. The only bad thing about them is they make sound and they're solid. Um, that's another A tier block right there. Redstone lamps. Um, you know, instant for game ticks. That's gonna be a B tier. TNT automatic F tier. What are you gonna use it for? You know? Ooh, the copper bulb. I like this one because unlike note blocks, they don't make sound. And they're used to store one bit information. So that's gonna be A tier. I guess that can be moved to B. I, I like them. Crafter, never used. Skulk, cringe. Calibrated skulk. I've heard it's cool, but you know, mid. Um, carts. Here is where we get into funny, funny, funny redstone. You can see right here in this door, for instance, made by, I'm pretty sure that's Leo Paul. I don't even know. This is a five by five funnel, I do believe. Yeah, cave, five by five cave. And you can see there's a chest cart right there. And it's used for very small doors to have small, delicate timings. There's a cart right there for a double piston extender. There is no carts in that because it's slimy, so there probably is. But if I just look around, and if I go to the second level, oh my gosh, there's so many world record doors. Like, see? Look, there's a two carts right there. That's a cart stack, they call it. And if... Oh, there's another cart stack. So if they get pushed up, you know. They're they're very useful, by the way. You know, all those people build this door. Crazy people, by the way. Especially those two. Mental, mental, insane French people. If, for instance, I go back to my own plot, you can see I tried to learn carts for a second or two. And here... They can be stuck inside composters to power things and be moved with delicate timings, as I said before. Delicate, precise, you know, same word. Um, also, like, oh, that looks illegal, but it's actually not because you can update it and it doesn't go away. And you can get them in survival. But that is also another big criticism of small doors. They're very annoying to build, even though they're technically legal in survival because you can make them. No, no one is going to. No one is going to make a 17-minute open 3 by 3 you know, or a 5 by 5 in this case. But, you know, so this is more of the, the limit of redstone. No one's going to build it in survival, but that's not really the point. It's more of this is crazy, and it's doable and creative, and people, you know, dedicate their, not their lives. Well, I would say their lives. There are people on this server who spend their lives on it and i was probably once that person but yeah here we have a good instance of a good delay based on carts using cobwebs and you know you can align them with all of these blocks even that see how it pushes up both carts crazy this right here another float oh what happened i stepped on it see the, that block will push up that cart because it's floated to the side that is a another float so if there's something in there it actually be picked up by that hopper which is crazy so carts are very specifically not liked by many but you know some will some will like them and see right here that's an upwards double piston extender with a cart i'll put just basic carts in c tier i like them they're useful. I don't really know how to use them, but you know, that's that. Now we have chest minecarts, D tier. They're like ROMs and stuff. I don't really know how to use furnace minecarts. Pretty nice. Another thing I forgot to mention with minecarts is the fact that you can use small boat with them. Where is it? You can see right here. That is a boat cart or as some like to call it abort, but that's a word abort to abort the mission. So I'm going to call them boat carts, but that right there, yeah, that's a boat cart and it's used for three game take reset sand, which is pretty nice. Furnace minecarts are very useful to block boats from being pushed up. So right here we have, in fact, eight game tick reset sand and don't worry about all the extra bed. That was just people fooling around. But if you align it on top of apparently an end portal frame, 
it will be a game tech reset. So we found that, but you can see right here. Oh, it actually doesn't happen, but you know, furnace minecarts are an entity that every other entity will not push up against. If I put a furnace minecart right here and a normal minecart right here, I push it into it. It won't move. It will not budge. The only thing that will make it move is another furnace minecart. Maybe. I don't know. They have very little velocity. And yeah, they're not moving. But yeah. So they're useful in blocking. They're I like to use them as blockers. That's why they're there. Hopper minecarts, another thing they'll like deposit things into containers. I don't really use them. Not really useful. F tier. Or I guess D tier. They're not bad, bad. TNT minecarts, F tier. Chests. Or is this a trap chest? I think this is a trap chest. Trapped chests are useful for being an immovable transparent redirector just like this the only bad thing is the fact that say someone were to walk up to your door not your door of your home but your door in in minecraft because you know that's what people do and then they open it it powers this so say for chance i have that there now my door is broken so that's sometimes why i don't like to use them they're 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 mid c tier rails I mean, you use them to set up minecarts. C tier. Activator versus powered rail. This is another conundrum because they're used as instant updaters. Powered rails are. But also, activator rails are also an instant updater. So this door right here that definitely won't get my video demonetized works the same with both. Except for the fact and I found this while building and researching storage tech back when I was a wee lad. And everyone who built storage tech used activator rails. And I was like, why are they activator rails? They can be powered rails and activator rails are more expensive to craft. And I know you can dupe them, but still, I found that quite annoying. So I exclusively use powered rails. Although most argue that activator rails look nicer. And I, I would agree, they, they do. But in the effort of making my build survival friendly, even though no one in their right mind or their left mind, good dad joke, would build this door just because it had a different color rail. So yeah, I use powered rails. It doesn't really matter. The only real difference is when you're actually transporting minecarts, but I don't really do that redstone, so. They're both, for the sake of appeasing the masses, well, I'm just gonna put them both in C tier. Detector rails. You might have seen it here, but in fact, they're redirectors that can be moved and that are transparent. So, if you look at this door, it moves it and then pulls it back so that it redirects and can power that piston so yeah that's a good use of detector rails i'd say they're b tier i like them quite a lot by the way that door this door these people probably don't want to be credited but you know iron doors i know one example of an iron door is used in a door and i didn't even make it this is door makers door right here that uses an iron door they're useful as something that can be powered that is too tall that will send signals to observers yeah well i know i i we, all people on synergy are very mature individuals definitely 100 percent. this is definitely not a bigger version of the door before just because you know people like to do that also 16 tps oh my gosh So yes, iron doors, I don't use them. Some people use them. They're a very rare use case. So I'm going to say, boom, D tier. Iron trap doors. A use of iron trap doors is, I can't find it. Here, I do believe, right? Did I use an iron trap door? No, I used a piston. You could also use an iron trap door though. They are useful for making three game tick dual edge things so this will power at three game ticks 
every time I flick this lever, which contrasts the fact that this will power five game takes the first time and three game takes when I pull it away. So that's the use of iron trapdoors. You could use a normal trapdoor, but again, as the comment I've kept on making, people can flick that, you know, people will flick that when they're walking around, especially on synergy, you know, because as I said before, it's a place full of definitely mature individuals. I am also aware that people in the computation of redstone community use these as redstone lamps because they're instant, which is nice. So they're going to get a solid C tier. Here we have a bell automatic. There are instant updaters that are immovable and they are transparent, but you know, F tier. Barrel, you know, C tier. You can use comparator output from it and they're solid. Composter, B tier, love it. Same thing, comparator. Jukebox, uh, D tier. They're used because they have output signals and they're redirectors, I guess, because of their new update. They are immovable redirectors that are solid right there. You know, D tier for our redstone ore because it's bad. You know, symbols that powdered snow. Ah, that's a D tier. As I showed before with the dispenser, you know. But also, the thing I mainly use it for is, as I said, rare before, but making boats look nice. So, I showed this off in my boat video, but... You know, that's how you can make all your boats be stacked very, very nice. Um, dripstone, F tier. No one uses it. Boat. Here we have a good one. Oh, uh, B tier. I love boat. Quartz. Quartz is, in my opinion, which is, you know, arguably the correct opinion, the best door block. It just looks the best. You know, you don't want it to be your wiring block because then how do you know what's powering it and what's the actual door, you know? So quartz is the most pleasing on the eye when you spend, you know, 20 hours on a door and you just want to look at the same block over and over and over again. There is some argument that smooth quartz is a better alternative, but I think it looks bad. So no. Overall, I'd say, you know, a tier block quartz stairs, you know, kind of cringe. Then we have slabs, automatic A tier. Slabs use them so much. Like over here, see so slab right there. I don't, I don't like using glass. Glass looks cool, but I don't know. I just prefer slabs, especially top slabs. They're good. Um, sand. This is another thing. Very good. Can be used in a lot of different ways. One of the ways is, in fact, this handy little three game tick thing right here. It's an three game take zero tick in fact and i know there are probably better ways but this is just how i learned to do you know three game ticks and i still use it often sand of course is also used in where where's the door it's used in boat instant boat so it's three game take reset if you just used an observer here it uh would not be three game take resettable um glazed terracotta mid it's used with slime and honey and it looks kind of cringe so d packed ice or this is this is blue ice i don't use it i would use it in survival for making boat bridge type deals so you know d tier i don't know what it's used for in redstone but maybe i'm just ignorant obsidian great great immovable ancient debris i forget what this is used for it's Immovable, I know that. I'm gonna say D tier or F tier. I never use it. Panes, as I say, glass panes are pain. That's a funny joke. C tier. I think I was just by the door, but it is used in the top of this. Oh, it's not. You could put a pane there. It actually doesn't matter. They are used when you have a block that is pushed against the pane and it's detected by an observer. Also, yeah, 1.05 five by five. Very nice um leaves love leaves they're great b tier walls as i just showed great they have another use in fact too they are used as a very good entity aligner which i know people think entities are cringe but this is normally how i align entities for use in double piston extenders from the top 
So for instance, say I have this right here and I put a plate there and I zero tick that. It actually doesn't matter if it's a zero tick. But yeah, if I look at this side, you see good alignment with that minecart right there. Scaffolding, as I showed before, it's got it's gonna be a B tier. It's used for three game tick pulses a lot. And it's also more expandable. And it's better than leaves because I didn't know this till recently, but you can place stuff on top of it, which is very cool. Campfires. I know Lamundo uses this in his 0 0.95 by 5. It is used because here, let me build something real quick. Take a shovel to it and I put a hay bale under it. It's actually detectable. If you move this hay bale, which is pretty cool. And with a normal block, it is not. So yes, very interesting use case. So campfires, they're going to get a D tier, but I, I think it's, it's rather cool. And it's used in piston feed tapes. I know a lot. Um, cobwebs, as I showed before, used for delay in entities, going to be a D tier. Oral fans. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, another good dad joke. That's gonna go D or F tier. That's used for coral duping, or no, it's used for TNT duping, but now we have other methods like coralless entity list. Shulkers. I know that shulkers are used in I'm pretty sure the world record 4x4 hipster door. Um not certain about that, but yeah, they're they're mid good use for ROMs, definitely in hipster doors. I'm gonna say D tier. Armor stands. I love to hate them and I hate to love them. But they're also like kind of decent. I think a good use for them is I showed this off in my board zero ticks video, I do believe. But you can have you can have them inside of sticky pistons. Like this. I have this armor stand in these pistons right here and then I push it up and I have a plate on top. It's a nice way to do that. Oh, you have to have a blocking block there. Interesting. But yes, so that's a solid C tier. Now we have chest boats. I don't really see a use for them other than like storage tech when you need to have a chest boat with like six hoppers all around it, you know? mobs i see the aspect of them that is cool because it's like oh i can get a super precise timing with a super cool entity alignment but i i don't really use them and they're really kind of cringe chains they used to be good for boat but now there's better options d tier fence gates hate the sound of them bad string um there's wireless trip wires for small doors um kind of cringe f tier item frames i haven't looked much into this but they can be used for like combination locks and stuff like that so that's you know a cool d tier now we have our finished list right here i don't know how similar this is to other people's out there i hope you enjoyed this strange video it's a very good idea by avogado hopefully you subscribe to him but yeah i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will link this tier list made by alugia of course in the description below so have a good day or night or you know time of being have a good one bye